don't ask don't ask them for money god the lord is free the lord love is free any religion any religion that ask you for money that they ask you for money any church that that says in order to be here you need to pay any church that makes you feel like you're not enough because you you have less than other is not a real it's not a real religion and it's not a real church because God never make anybody feels less than other. I'm a celebrity and to God, I'm I'm like his other children. I, I'm like a, a I'm like a bump to him. God doesn't see nothing. There's no there's no no child is better than the other. We all his children and and none of us is better than the other. And Robert makes you feel whoever makes the most money and whoever is more beneficial is 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 the best. And that's not true. It's not too late. It's not too late. When y'all get off this call, it's going to follow you forever and you're going to be and you're going to have trauma. I mean, even me, I feel like I have I feel like I have like I feel like my past sometimes it haunts me, but <clears throat> I feel like my past haunts me. Everybody that that have experienced trauma, it will be is it's always gonna be something that you always going to remember. But that's why um, there's psychologists. That's why there's family that's gonna shield you, that's gonna protect you, and you move forward. It's not, it's never too late. It's never too late to go back to your mother. It's never too late to go back to your father. It's never too late to get down on your knees and ask God, Lord, forgive me. Forgive me for the things that I put my sister through. Forgive me for the things that I did, I did to my parents. And let me tell you something. God is not going to ask you nothing. He will forgive you. He will forgive you. Robert, Robert is just like you. He's not a man of God. He's not a chosen child from the Lord. He's a fucking scam. He's a scammer. He's a scammer. He's a scammer. Before you met Robert, your life was great. And guess what? If you leave that call, it's going to be great right after. It's going to be great right after. Don't let you, Robert is the pastor. Then you got the B five. I don't know. I forgot his name. Her, her husband name. Girl, I know that cock don't got you that traumatized that you leaving your parents behind over dick. Like um, like I mean, I'm 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 dick crazy too, girl. Like this man dick drives me out of the wall, baby. But never enough. Like I will never pick my family over no man. I will never pick my life over no man. It's never worth it. It's never worth it. You can't lose yourself over a man. Even when me and my man go through stuff, you know what I do? I get up and I work because I'm not going to lose myself over a man. Don't lose yourself. Don't lose your family over a man. Don't lose yourself. Don't, don't believe this religion that makes you feel like getting away from your family is, is key. Or, or, or if you don't follow their commands, you're going to hell. You go, you go, you go to hell when people that love you and care for you. You hurt them and you hurting your family. And girl, when you go see a family again, don't come over here doing a live, trying to show people, try to show me, I guess, because I know you've seen this live that you're doing good. That's that's not real. You need to be real to yourself. You cannot you could lie to social media. You got you can't lie to yourself. I promise you. I promise you. If you want to talk about the Lord, if this man got you manipulated with the Lord's work, being bad to the people, to your parents is 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 thing. You ever heard? You, I don't know if y'all know this. I mean, she doesn't hear her parents, but Caribbean says this. If you late, like there's this myth, right? Well, I don't think it's a myth. Caribbeans from any island say this: that if you put your hands on your parents. When they close your casket, your hand is going to come out. Your hand going to get swollen. It's not going to come out. You're not hitting your parents, of course. I'm not saying you're hitting your parents. But doing bad to your parents that love you. Because some, some people have shitty parents. You have great parents. You got parents that's fighting for you. And those are the people you need to fight for to, to, to be with you. That's all I'm saying, girl. And I'm telling you guys. And, and for the other people that want to join the cult. Oh my gosh! They, I got, I got a thing. I got a violation. 
Damn, they they violated they vi they they don't want me to talk about this. I'm getting off this live because now I got a violation on TikTok. Just know, just know if you ever try to join a cult because you feel unloved or because you need guidance or because you're 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 desperate and you wanna and somebody's promising you something, trust me, things are always hard, but you're going to get through this. You're gonna get through this. There's no bigger love than the love that you give yourself. Okay? Don't let nobody manipulate your mind. Your mind, sometimes people look like for me, for example, like the, some of the men are in the call and some of the women are in the call are, 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 are people that is are in, our, in our community and they're joining the call. And I'm like, how? Like, because the mind is so easy to manipulate. And, and that's why you can't even shame these people because here they go again. The mind is so easy to manipulate. You have to overcome manipulation. So, um, <coughs> I took a little nap because I feel like my voice is getting a little raspy. My nose is a little runny. Uh, I'm about to get, I'm about to go. And yeah, if you guys, if you guys could watch TikTok is about, it's about, um, it's called dancing with the devil or dancing for the, Dancing for the devil, I'm not sure. It's about a whole bunch of TikTokers uh, joining a cult and this evil, evil, evil man and how, you know, America's pro um, America amendments protect him and he sexually abused a couple of, of his members. So you guys should watch that. And um, yeah, love you guys. Goodbye. Guys, goodbye. Hello beautiful people. I hope you guys are doing well today. Hey, I thought this pandemic of cults, pandemic of fake pastors, pandemic of pastors sleeping with kids is only in South Africa. Like, I don't want to lie. Or Africa rather. I honestly, honestly thought that we are the only people experiencing something like this. Um, even if it's happening in other countries, maybe it's just like here and there. It's not like a, a big thing, you know, where everybody's like talking about it like that. So you guys, as you have heard for yourselves, um, Cardi B was just the telling people that if you feel like um, wherever you're going, like wh whatever church you attending, you feel small just because you did not um take out a lot of money out of your pocket or you feel like you are um, you you have to like it's a necessity to pay you are not in the right church that's what she said she said if you feel like you have to pay god something um in 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 order for you to get like blessings in order for you to feel like you're a child of god in order for you to receive whatever you were praying for then you are definitely in the wrong church because god wants you as you are god won't um want money from you god god won't want you to pay him a fee so that you can feel loved by him god love you as you are god does not and ask a lot of questions he just wants you as you are i honestly don't know much about the people she was talking about because i obviously i don't follow like um american trends whatever but i i've seen that a lot of people in the comment section were really commenting what she was saying but the weirdest thing happened while she was live um preaching i can call it that then she got a violation and she said that oh so they don't want her to talk about it um but she just hope and pray that people get the message that god loves you as you are she also said that sometimes her past haunts her but she she just um come to that um position where she knows that whatever she did in her life she knows that god forgave her already she knows that god loves her like she don't need to pay any pastor or any church 
any amount of money for her to feel loved by God. And she prays that people go to the right churches for them because this thing of just having um fake pastors everywhere. Guys, we know about these things. We are not going to shy away from um the fact that hey kuningi, especially here where I am in South Africa, a lot of pastors are playing mind games with people. I've just seen a video that is currently trending on Twitter of a um a prophet or i'm just gonna call him a fake prophet where he was trying to prophesy this woman and he was like your father died in 2020 on the 19th of may and the girl was like no my father is alive she even mentioned the um, location where the the her dad was or lives in and the pro the the fake pastor or prophet was like um you see um we have to pray for this woman this woman is not okay um then he went on to say you have five siblings the girl was like i only have two siblings guys that's that is where the 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 prophet was um fuming you can see that um her facial his facial expression were just like he was furious if the girl was alone, not on television or whatever, uh -uh. <laughs> I'm sure something bad would have happened to her. Um, everything like that he said, the girl literally said, nope, you are lying. Obviously, she did not voice it out, but she was like, no, my dad is alive. I have two siblings. And the prophet just concluded by saying that, he is going to pray for this woman because this woman is not okay oh he actually started with, by saying um lady have you met before and the lady was like yes we met before and, she, and he was like oh i mean face to face have we met before and the lady was like yep we met before so you can literally tell that there's actually a lot going on um people came come into south africa to make money different ways some is drugs some is prostitution whatever whatever trafficking and um one of the pandemics we have is also pastors who, who are coming in, in south africa to make money by playing mind games with our people and it's really sad it's sad to see that people are still falling into the traps of fake prophets wanting a lot of money from them and all those things and it's really 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 sad because some pastors are even telling our people that they are not sick if your doctor or you were diagnosed with hiv you were diagnosed with cancer you're di diagnosed with any chronic um disease those pastors will tell you that no god healed you you don't have to take any medication you don't have to go to the doctors you should actually stop going to the doctors you should stop taking your medication because you are not the sick type god healed you they are using god for this crap you know but anyway guys don't want to below let me know what you guys think about this i'm sure somehow somewhere in parts of your life you met a fake pasta or a fake prophet or sangoma and i know you got a story to tell so if you don't mind you can share it down in the comment section and yeah guys i will definitely see you on my next one please do not forget to subscribe like and share this video